In this video, we will be looking at some of the basic modes of the RDI radar in the Mirage 2000C, specifically those used in close combat situations. We will go over the use of the weapons system command switch, look at the use of the Borsight mode, the vertical scan mode, the Spiral Viseur or SVI HUD scan mode peculiar to the Super 530D missile, the two horizontal scan modes, and the Aras slave to TDC mode. Hello fellow virtual aviators, we are back in the shrewd and sagacious Mirage 2000C and today we are again looking at air-to-air -air radar use, specifically using close combat modes. Now this generally means within 10 nautical miles of yourself and these techniques are obviously best employed when you are engaged in air combat manoeuvres or more familiarly speaking dogfighting. We are just north of Mount Elbrus, the highest mountain in Europe in the Caucasus Mountains, heading towards the town of Mineralny Vody in southern Russia. Ahead of us, to the north, are a number of hostile aircraft that we are going to target with our ACM close combat radar modes. A short disclaimer as before, we are not focusing on weapons employment or tactics today. We are merely looking at accessing and using the close combat radar. Essentially, like many other airframes, the close combat radar modes in the Mirage 2000C are auto acquisition modes. Now, what we mean by this is that when the radar detects a contact, it will immediately place them into a P6 single target track without the need for you to search or designate the target yourself. In auto acquisition, the Mirage 2000C will lock the first target it detects, so you must exercise caution as you may lock up a friendly, so perform your usual IFF checks before loosing any missiles. Close combat radar modes utilize the HUD. There are four basic close combat modes, one of which changes depending on the weapon selected. Which mode to use will depend on your situation, and this is where knowledge of some basic ACM dogfighting techniques will inform your decision. These close combat radar modes are accessed and selected using the Weapon System Command switch, an absolutely essential switch for your HOTAS. The switch has three actions, forwards, aft, and depress. Our radar is switched on and emitting. We also either have a weapon selected, for example the Magic 2 missile, or we are in P.O.L. Pol police mode, which allows us to use the radar without employing weapons used, for example, when we are intercepting in peacetime. I'm going to select the Magic 2 missile using the CNM switch. So there we go, I can see that Magic is selected on the left-hand side. Pressing the Weapon System command switch forwards accesses and cycles between what I like to call the turn fight modes. The first is the Boresight mode. This is indicated by the dashed circle on the hood and points the radar along the longitudinal axis of the Mirage. In other words, straight in front of you in a three degree cone. Placing an aircraft within the Boresight marker and the radar will attempt to lock it. When I am in Boresight mode, I can cycle to the second board, vertical scan mode, by pressing the weapon system command switch forwards again. Vertical scan is indicated by the dashed vertical line on the hood and searches in two vertical lines 5 degrees wide and 60 degrees vertically, ideal when dogfighting and turning. Again, any aircraft detected in the vertical scan will be locked to a single target track. Okay, so I have my Magic 2 missile selected and I am in Boresight mode. I can just see an aircraft crossing the left of the hood here, so steering the boresight into there and I acquire a radar lock. Now some of the symbology you can see on the hood is specific to the weapon but a radar lock is indicated by a square or a triangle. We'll go over this in more detail when we look at the actual weapons. Let's switch over to police mode, pull mode, and we'll do the same again. And there we go, the square indicates that I have the radar lock 
and I can see various symbology on the hood, uh, giving me the range and aspect and closure rate of the target. Let's just turn away from him and unlock with Weapon System Command Depress. With two presses of the Weapon System Command button, we'll switch over to Vertical Scan Mode. There we go, we have the dotted line, and we'll reacquire the target. So let's search him out. There he is, just ahead of us. So by bringing the target into the scan zone, we'll see him locked up. And he will lock up long before he appears on the hood. There we go. We have the dashed square to indicate that we have a radar lock. And when we can see him on the hood, the dashed square turns to a solid square. The circle and triangle are related to the magic missile. I suppose we better go and finish him off. The turn fight mode cycle differs when I have the Super 530D semi-active radar missile selected. So let's select the 530D on the PCA and I can see that on the hood that I have it selected on the left 530. One press of the weapon system command switch again brings up the bore sight mode with the same parameters as the other weapons. However, pressing the switch again does not bring up the vertical scan mode. And this is because the Super 530D is not ideally suited to dogfights in the merge. Instead, it brings up the Spiral Viseur, or Spiral View, scan mode. This mode is indicated by SVI on the right of the hood, and executes a sweeping 20 degree spiral pattern which roughly covers the hood. Uh, this mode is great when you suddenly lose contact with uh, the hostile uh, you have previously locked up and want to reacquire them quickly without having to resort to using the VTB, so long as you are within 10 nautical miles. Target spotted, he's off to the right there, so let's switch over to SVI with two presses of the weapons system command button. And if we bring him into the hood, we'll very quickly get a single target track. There we go. Oh, and why not? When I have a contact locked, just like in PSIC STT mode, I can unlock them by pressing the Weapon System Command Depress. So there we go, we've got him locked up, and if I press Weapon System Command Depress, I break the lock. Also, this switch will return me to the basic Resh Bar Search mode when in a close combat radar mode with no target locked. So pressing Weapon System Command Depressed will always return me to a Resh Bar Search. The other two modes are closely related and are accessed by pressing Weapons System Command Aft. These two modes are what I like to call the Close Search Modes. Pressing Weapons Systems Command Aft once brings up the first of these modes, BAH Horizontal Scan Mode. And this is indicated by the BAH on the right of the hood and the presence of the horizontal dashed line. In this acquisition mode, the radar is performing a two-bar, 30-degree, high-pulse repetition search pattern left to right, often thought of as in the shape of a letterbox. 
Again, any contact detected within 10 nautical miles will be locked to a PSIC single target track. Interestingly, the search area can be panned left and right using the TDC controls, which you can see here, the dotted line is moving left and right as I slew it left and right with the TDC control. Likewise, it can be tilted up and down using the antenna elevation controls, much in the same way as you would when using the VTB in beyond visual range radar use. The difference here is that you have a visual representation of the search area on the hood. I literally have a heads up idea of where I am pointing the radar. The second mode, accessed when in BAH mode by pressing the weapon system command switch to aft once again, is called the BA2 mode. This is essentially identical to BAH horizontal scan mode, but operates in a medium pulse repetition rather than a high pulse repetition. This is useful if your target has a low closure rate or is traveling tangential to you. You may have a better look in locking up the target in such a case by using BA2. Both modes are ground stabilized, meaning they act horizontally parallel to the horizon. And as before, the two modes can be cycled with the weapon system command aft and disengaged, returning to resh bar search mode by using weapon system command depress. So I am in BAH horizontal scan mode and I am searching for my target. Ah, there he is. <laughs> that was easy. Reva Fox One. I'm now in BA2 horizontal scan mode, and I know that there is another slow moving target out there somewhere, so let's see if we can find him. And we'll manipulate the scan zone using our TDC controls and our antenna elevation. I think I've picked him up. Yes, there we go. Reaver Fox One. There is one further close combat radar mode in the Mirage 2000C, but this is accessed differently to the other four. It's somewhat different. This mode is called RAS mode, or Rallymo Radasu Alided Seat, or for fellow barbarians like myself, radar slaved to the TDC cursor. This mode is accessed by switching the pulse repetition frequency to interleave mode on the radar control panel, with the radar range scale set to 10 nautical miles, and then designating an empty space with the Alidade on the VTB heads down display. You will know you're in RAS mode because the Alidade will begin to flash on the VTB, and a target designator square is now displayed on the hood. Like the horizontal scan modes, I can manipulate its position using the TDC controls and the antenna elevation. Placing the square over a target will attempt to lock it, again within approximately 10 nautical miles. So I have switched my pulse repetition frequency, and I know that because I can see ENT on the VTB. With TDC Depress, I will attempt to target a blank space on the VTB, thereby putting me in RAS mode and giving me the designator square. So let's go and find our target.
Bang, 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 you're going down. Well, as ever, I hope that was useful for you and it has given you some ideas about how you can employ the radar in close quarters. With thanks to my patron, the ever-loving Jan11, feel free to do the usual thing, like, subscribe, comment and share, but until next time, virtual aviators, I look forward to seeing you online in the skies. This is Reva saying, last call.